Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to any of you who might be new to, I'm so happy to have you here. I hope if you clicked on this video, you're ready for some motivation to get some stuff done. Or I know a lot of y'all turn these videos on before you go to sleep because you say it's relaxing. So I think that's cool too. But either way, I have a bunch of motivation coming your way. We're going to be doing a ton of decluttering. I told y'all I had a bunch of that coming up. So that's happening in this video, as well as cleaning up the boys' bedroom and and getting their bedding cleaned and doing a little bit in my garage too. So I'm starting up here in the kids laundry room because when I am doing their laundry, if there is like a shirt or pants or whatever that don't fit them anymore, I wash them and then I just throw them up here and I let them collect until I put them in a bag and give them all away. So that's what I'm doing here. And this is going to be one of many bags that we get rid of in this video. I feel like this happens basically anytime I want to do bedding, especially the boys bedding, because it takes a couple loads. Their comforters are pretty thick and heavy. So, and by the way, I got those from Target. I do get asked about those a good bit and I really want to get them some beddies because in the summertime, I told you guys, they're going to be picking up on their little chore list and doing a little bit more school mornings are so rushed and I don't ever make them make their beds. But with Betty's, there's no excuse. It's so easy and they can just zip them. But anyways, I knew I wanted to get this going, but I feel like without fail, anytime I want to do bedding, I'm behind a couple loads and I feel like I have to get those going before I get the bedding going. So it's basically what I'm doing here. I know filming wise, it looks like I just wash these and then I'm putting them straight over into the dryer, but because of the craziness of the day, I ended up putting them in the washing machine and then got distracted by so many things that I needed to do with the kids and get stuff done. So the next time I started filming, I was just trading them over. So sometimes it doesn't really work out that I can just work for several hours in a row. I have to do things, take big breaks and then get back to filming. And that's totally fine, but I know it does look a little bit weird when you're washing clothes and then you just put them straight into the dryer. And with summertime too, I have so many loads of just swimsuits and beach towels. It is crazy, but I actually really, really love it because summertime makes me the happiest with my kids. I feel like the best memories are made. My kids love the water. They love being outside. So I love it too. I'm filming these voiceovers on the same night that I am about to post this video. I'm really hoping to get it up just in a couple hours. Sometimes voiceovers take me a really long time and then to watch the video back to make sure everything is edited the right way. But I just got home from Lynn White's house and if you guys do not follow her over on Instagram or if you're not subscribed to her channel, you are missing out. You definitely need to do that. She is just one of my dearest friends and I kind of last minute asked her last week, I was like, I want to come see you so badly. And she said, yes, absolutely. So we arranged for it to be this Monday through Wednesday and it went by so fast, but it was so, so good and just needed. We had 
the best conversations. We got some stuff done. Of course, I got all the baby snuggles and I'm just so thankful for my friendship with her. And it's crazy that we met through YouTube. Like you think that if you meet somebody on the internet, you just don't know necessarily, but it's just, I know. With her, I've known from the beginning that she was always going to be one of my dearest friends and she has been for years and she will continue to be. So, so thankful for her. You guys go check her out if you do not know her. I will leave her channel linked in my description box. Okay, I know I talked about this a little bit over on Instagram, but the boys' drawers are always pretty organized. But just recently, I got some different types of organizers from Ikea, and they fit these drawers so much better. And I thought I didn't have enough for their bottom drawer, so I was just making do. But then I realized that I did, so I ended up trading everything over. But I like to use this time kind of towards the end of the school year to declutter anything that doesn't fit them or if it's Max's pass it on to Bo because it's not fun to grab something out of the drawer and have it not fit. So that's what I was doing here too. It's a little bit time consuming, but it is so worth it. And then I'm also trading over any of the organizers that were like the older ones that don't necessarily fit as well in these drawers. And I'm using them in other places in my house. They're great for everything, but these ones just tend to fit a little bit better. And this fun thing is from Ikea too. I just love Ikea so much for all the organizational things. But in a lot of videos ago, I did something similar to this with the girls clothes that were out of season. I didn't have a ton of stuff that I needed to put in here for the boys, but anything that's like definitely winter, we do not need. It's very hot here right now. So I packed away a few of their winter PJs and just slid this little organizer under the bed and you cannot see it at all. So just out of sight, out of mind. And then I moved on to wiping everything down. Somewhere along the way, we ended up with this extra random bedding and it was on Max's bed. I can't remember what ended up happening, but I wanted to get this folded up and put back in the closet since it was fresh out of the dryer. And then I had washed both of their other main sets of sheets. But the good thing is Max and Bo actually sleep together basically every night in the same bed. They love to be together. They definitely still 
fight like crazy, but they love to be together when they're sleeping and they get sad if they can't be. So it was super convenient when the bedding doesn't wash very quickly and I only had one bed fully ready to go before it was their bedtime. So they got into this clean bed and then the other bed you'll see here in a second just got left like that until the next day because it was the best I could do and they really needed to be in bed. You know those things ahead of time that you already know that you're gonna really miss one day for me at the top of that list is kids laundry you guys know this I've already said a little bit of it before but I love doing it so much and I love organizing it and putting it away it gives me like so much joy and satisfaction and I also think all their clothes are just so little and cute and I kind of don't want them to grow up but I also do want them to grow up but anyways this is something I'm going to miss so badly when they're older, but at least I'll have laundry to do for my grandkids, hopefully. Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now, your exquisite kiss still burning. Didn't know I miss this passion in life. Now I'm addicted so much. My vacuum was about to die. It was late and time for the boys to go to bed. I just wanted to throw a couple things out of their room that I had decluttered and let them go to sleep. Look at their cute little faces going to bed. This is seriously them every night. They're just so goofy and funny and just I don't know. I know I'm going to miss it so badly. That's why I, even in the midst of the chaos, I just try to enjoy all of it. But anyways, put them in bed and now moving on to flipping over the laundry right before I called it quits for cleaning for the night and came right back in the next day to start making Bo's bed. And since everything was dry, I could get that done and they were also at school. So that was helpful. So Mark obviously had the kids while I went to Florida to be with Lynn for those few days and he was telling me earlier how Max said we could just totally get rid of one of the beds and just push one of them to the middle since we only need one bed and I thought that was really sweet but it also made me think about the future. I don't think we'll be in this house. It's definitely not our forever home, but I still picture like the future and what I would want things to be and I feel like if we were in this house years down the road this would be a really cool room to do built-in bunk beds and have a bunch of them so not only the kids could sleep there but then their friends when they come over could sleep there and i also think on down the road which is so weird i'm only 33 but i already think about being a grandmother and i think that i want to have like the most amazing bunk room in my house one day so just in case all four of my kids have maybe i don't know four of their own I can have all 16 grandkids over at the same time. I'm gonna be such a fun grandma and I cannot wait. I'm going to basically steal my grandkids all the time. I've already decided.
once I get started cleaning and decluttering, it's like I don't want to stop. So now that I have the boys room done, that felt so good to get it deep cleaned and organized. I washed all of the kids shoes, their tennis shoes for school. They were just smelling horrendous. And the thing is like my kids are really rough and tough on their shoes because they wear them every day and they don't last much longer than just the school year. So now that the school year is coming to an end, we are probably going to be getting them some new ones, but I still had to wash them because they smelled so bad. And then now I'm moving on to just a small portion of the garage, but this is the one that we go to the most when we're heading to the pool or the beach or the lake or anywhere and it gets so junky during the winter and even in the beginning of the summertime or spring and i always have to come in here at the beginning of summer and just organize everything get all of our beach towels set up and just make everything really accessible and easy for the kids to grab because when we're heading to the pool i want them to grab their own stuff because i already have enough to keep up with as far as like making sure we have the snacks we need and the stuff that i need and the sunscreen so i want them to have all of their stuff where they can grab it. What can I do? What can I do when your dream is gone? I don't want to go back, back, don't want to go back. If you are not with me, hey, do you read me? Go back, back to where we came from. If my hands are empty, hey, do you read me? Go back. I don't want to go This shelf is from Ikea and I wish that I could link it. I looked the other night when one of y'all had asked me on Instagram and I couldn't find it, but sometimes y'all are just the best at finding the links on Ikea. So maybe one of y'all could find it. I know that it was so cheap. I want to say maybe $39 or $49, but I couldn't find it online. So maybe you can find it in the store still, but it's the perfect shelf for what I need in this little section. So I am glad I found it when I did. Anytime a shelf is up against the wall or the corner, so much collects behind it. So I was pulling this out and not only were there leaves and debris and dirt and stuff, but just the amount of spiders were so crazy and it's really gross. And I know so many of y'all were saying you couldn't handle that, but I'm very used to it. We live in the South in Georgia and we have tons and tons of spiders all the time, but I'm not too worried about the towels. I know some of y'all were saying like, oh, don't keep your towels outside. We've done this for years and it's always been okay. And we always shake our stuff anyway. We're so used to doing that even with our shoes. A lot of our friends leave their shoes outside. We do not, we leave them inside, except occasionally we'll forget some flip flops outside, but we try to be as careful as we can, but we still need to utilize our garage for some things. It's always hard for me with shelving like this because a lot of times I want to put the stuff I don't really want them getting into a ton higher up top like even the chalk or towels if I don't want a bunch of them to be unfolded but at the same time you want your kids to be able to reach them so they can be independent and grab their own things so thankfully my kids are to the age now where they are pretty respectful of the things that I've gotten done and they know that I work really hard to make things organized and they don't just come behind me and undo it and we go through so much sunscreen every summer even just for my kids to go to the pool once we probably go through at least one or two cans of sunscreen just because I'm really particular I do not want them to get burnt I'm not always the best at making sure that I'm sunscreen although I'm trying to get better but I always make sure my kids are 
But I was curious to know what is y'all's favorite sunscreen for your kids. I'm all over the place. I do go based on reviews. Sometimes if I buy them online or if I'm just in Target, I grab what is the most affordable. That is a name that I recognize. But I typically love the Sun Bum for me and I use it for my kids a lot too. But anyways, it looks so much better in this corner now. I'm excited to get it even more done and next video hopefully I will have the garage refrigerator organized too. I saw this huge pack of washcloths online at Costco for $14 and so I'm just washing them all. They are the best and I love them so much. I love when they're white because you can bleach them. I feel like they get a ton cleaner and I would just love to have all white stuff downstairs just because of the whole bleach aspect. But now I'm coming into our laundry room getting it a little bit organized just because it needed to happen. And behind the door in the laundry room, it always gets so dusty. You'll see here in a second. So I wanted to get that swept up and wiped up and vacuumed up. And then I'm going to tackle our closet, which to me is like one of the most satisfying things because Getting rid of tons of clothes is always really fun for me. It feels good. I pass them on to my sisters mostly, so they get excited about them too. I get excited about clearing out some hangers and clearing out some space. It's just a win-win for everybody. Even though it's not done necessarily the way I would like it to be or I know some of y'all would like it to be with cabinets and stuff, I hope at some point that comes. But this feels good to have this done because it's probably the cleanest my laundry room has been in a while. But now we can move on to other craziness. Here we go again with this closet, y'all. I can't ever keep it under control if you're new around here. It looks like this a lot and that's because I will do a huge day of like washing a bunch of clothes then I don't hang them up where they're supposed to go. Also, I need to get rid of some clothes. And if I'm like heading out of town and need to grab bags from up there, I typically throw everything on the floor and rush out the door. So I'm gonna get this situated. It's not gonna be perfect or anything, but I just wanna get it looking better. I mostly just try to stick with the rule if I have not worn it in a year and I've been through every season with it and have not thought to put it on, it's probably time for it to go and I really won't miss it. I won't even know when it's gone and that's what I've learned along the way. I might think that I want it, but I will not even remember that I had it and somebody else can get good use out of it. So I really don't have a ton of issues with getting rid of stuff. It's kind of nice. This is so totally random, but I would love to hear y'all's thoughts and advice on it. So in my last video, I showed sanding down my mirror on the back porch and I know you couldn't see all of it,
but I am so torn on what to do as far as furniture for the back porch. I can't decide if I want like a living room type situation, which is almost what we had before. It wasn't super comfy. I ended up giving it away to the guy who came and pressure washed all of the driveway and concrete and everything. I can't decide if I want a comfier living room situation or if we want a big table and chairs. Or I was talking to Lynn and she was saying, maybe do a little bit of both. What do y'all suggest that we do? Because I cannot decide. There was a lot going on in this closet. A lot of it had to do with the fact that I had come home from Florida with my friends and not put my stuff back where it goes. And the fact that we don't typically put our shoes up where they go right away. So those were a little bit out of control too, but I had some clothes that were clean that needed to be hung up. And then I was slowly pulling down the things that I don't wear anymore and putting them in a huge pile. So it was a little bit overwhelming, but the faster I worked and got stuff done, the more I could see the light at the end of the tunnel. And as far as winter stuff goes, like all my winter hats and scarves and stuff, I found these little containers when I was doing a little bit of organizing in the garage and I figured they would be perfect for this. At first I tried to stuff everything into one and then I quickly realized, no, I have two. Let's divvy them up a little bit and not make this so crammed. I also have the little organizers for my hats that I still have not put up in the garage and I'm going to do that, I promise. But for now, I just put all the hats in here to try to keep them organized. This is the last week of school for my kids and every day one of the kids has their like award ceremony but they're doing them virtually this year. I don't think we had any on Monday but then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday they have them going on. So Tuesdays was Kate's and Mark was able to watch it since I was out of town with Lynn and then Wednesday was Ava and so the same Mark was able to watch that and then Thursday and Friday I'm going to try to watch Bose and Max's which I'm excited about but I was so so proud of the girls because of course they get their like completion award just for finishing the grade and everybody gets those and I did not know this but then there's one other award per class that the kids vote on in the class and one boy wins it and one girl wins it it's called the citizenship award i think basically they just vote on who is the kindest and most helpful and nicest and friendliest and like i said i did not even know it was coming or anything like that and so on tuesday mark texted me and told me that kate had won it in her class and that was just I don't know it just really touched my heart because you guys know kate is so sweet and kind anyway but i am not with her at school so i really don't know how things go at school and it's just heartwarming to me that people see that side of her too and then the next day on wednesday ava won that same award for her class which was crazy i would never expect that both of my kids would win that out of all the kids but i was just so so proud of the girls as soon as i got home from florida that was the very first thing i told them was how proud i was of them you're the opposite of me like sun and rain 
and drama on the TV is full of pain. Bury the good part, the happy ending. Unexpected plot twist, we always say. I sped this up a ton, but I was trying to be really thorough and check all of the pockets because in one of my rain jackets, I found a card from two years ago that I had lost and was stressing out about it. We ended up having to cancel that card, I'm pretty sure, but I wanted to make sure that I looked through all the pockets before I gave the clothes to my sister. And then there were a couple bags that I just straight donated. So I definitely wanted to check those pockets because it kind of reminded me one of my best friends has a boutique and she sells clothes there. But then a lot of times people will come in and want to buy just the decor she has in there. And if they offer her a good enough price, a lot of times she'll just say yes. And so somebody wanted to buy the gumball machine from her and they offered her a great price, but then they bought it and she forgot about the quarters inside of it. So I wanted to make sure to cover my bases. My absolute favorite part of decluttering is just getting rid of all the bags at the end and being able to give them away. And of course, vacuuming. I do love vacuuming too, but my sisters and I are going on a road trip up to Indiana in just a couple weeks. So I'm probably not going to see them until then. I might see them Memorial Day weekend actually. So maybe they can go through the clothes then. If not, I do have to hang on to them, but I still know that they're gone and I've gone through them. So that's good enough for me. the wrong place at the right time cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes we were conversing into the night sky when you took my hands and let's leave now I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a few different transformations in my house. Even though some of them are small, it still made a huge impact. At least it did to me mentally. So I hope you guys are able to do some things in your house to make you feel a little bit better about things too. Maybe declutter a little bit. I appreciate you guys for watching today and I'll see y'all next time. Bye y'all.